Turning the page on an unprecedented year. We all want to do that, but how do we remain optimistic? Pediatrician Dr. Teresa Wee joins us now with that and why it's so important to remain positive around our keiki. Good morning. Happy New Year, Dr. Wee. Nice to see you. Hi, Christine. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. So how do we start the new year fresh and with a positive note? You know, there's been so many things with the, the COVID and, of course, um, our country. I just wanted to start the new year off in a way that I'm targeting parents and grandparents today because, remember, our keikis are constantly watching how we're reacting and behaving to all of this turmoil around us. And it's so important that we really have that, that positivity and, and share it with them because it, we, could go, we could go either way and we have that choice. So how do we do that? You know, there's a, a, a famous author uh, who wrote The Happiness Equation. His name is Neil Parrish. And he said that um, it's very simple. It's the three A's. The first one is attitude. Second is awareness. And the third is authenticity. So the first one is we know with COVID and everything around us, things are never going to go as planned. Yes, we're going to have some really great highs, but it seems like we're having a lot of, you know, doom and gloom. And so when we have those moments where we have fear and despair, we can just kind of, you know, swim in that swamp forever, mm -hmm. or we can make that choice to really grieve about what's happening, but also learn from it and then start to take baby steps to get out of that that swamp right attitude and is a choice is basically what it attitude is attitude is a choice okay yeah. and now the next the, a awareness awareness is is being that that 3 year old rediscovering that 3 year old person inside of you i have a 3 year old grandson and you know everything is new um, he looked at little dandelion weeds and he loved it and he picked it and he said, this is for you, Grammy. And, oh. You know, and, and, and the smell of popcorn or when we're at the mall, he says, I smell cookies baking at Cookie Corner or just this morning. Um, I, I got the first parking space right in front of my office. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's all these, these little things that we take for granted. But, but if we can actually... Um, feel like we're, we're doing it the first time. We need to grab on to these happy moments because they're happening to us all the time. And as we get older, we just go, ah, whatever, another beautiful sunset. Right. You know? Yeah. But basically stop and, the, and smell the coffee, literally. Okay, the next yes. A, authenticity. Authenticity means, you know, really being cool with yourself. Um, you know, do the things you love, not what other people want you to do. Um, pursue your passion. Uh, life is short, so you don't want to be doing what other people want you to do. And, and when you follow your heart, you'll be around people and you'll be in places you love and you're going to have that fulfilling life, you know. And, and really, this is what we should be showing our children. We should be, sh we should be living out the fulfilled life in front of them. So just to wrap up again, choose the good attitude. Be totally aware of all the small daily things that pass by you. Don't take them for granted. And finally, just be you. And, and really, you know, no matter what's going on outside, follow your heart, follow your passion. You know what you want to do. Do it. All Don't right. hold it off. We only have a certain limited time on this earth. And... And I want everyone to start the new year with this, with these thoughts and, and, and really grab a hold of life because we don't know when God's going to take us, but we want to do as much as we can, share love with others. And I think this is the fulfilled life. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Ter Teresa Wee. Happy New Year and a great way to start off the new year.
Thank you, Christine. We'll break down the stories you need to.